Um, today I'm going to be talking about a couple of my favorite beauty products. So please stay tuned, like and subscribe, and if you love me, you'll continue to watch this video. <laughs> A beauty product will be this cream cleanser from Peter Thomas Ross. It is so fire. Now, I don't recommend it if you have really oily skin. I have really dry skin, so everything I use has to be like 100% moisturizing. Because if not, like my makeup will crack. I will look, even though my makeup is still kind of cracks throughout the day, like it's normal. Like I have really dry skin, it happens, okay? I'm not perfect. Right here, this right here right here is the bomb okay if you have dry skin if you don't then i really can't recommend this for you i'm sorry but i use this every day day and night and the thing that also this is like amazing about this is like if you use a little bit like literally a little bit it foams up so much so it lasts me like forever so even though it's kind of pricey because peter thomas ross is kind of expensive but it's worth it if you you know you want to have nice luscious skin okay i'm not a skincare specialist or anything like that but i know what works for me or what has been working for me this i don't know if you can really see it the light is really like bright before i was using any of this like months ago my skin was horrendous okay it was i was using like i would go to marshall's and buy like marshall skincare I don't suggest that unless you're gonna get like vitamin E or like any type of vitamin oils for your face then okay honestly if you don't have great skincare your makeup is gonna be trash let me tell you that right now because I learned that working at Sephora I used to work at Sephora if you guys didn't know for like I don't know how many months but I worked at Sephora I also learned a lot from Sephora when it comes to like skincare and makeup I wasn't really like a big skincare person until I started working at Sephora and realized like you really have to have nice great skin even though that's like logic but obviously we have to moisture moisturize our face because sis like um before you apply makeup you gotta pot put some type of moisturizer and i like to use there you go oh you guys see what i'm talking about that's basically like my skincare at the moment so if y'all was asking for my skincare then sis you just got it use a smashbox photo finish crystallized primer it's a primer and moisturize it together and i just basically figured that out right now because i had no idea that was a thing but the reason why i like this primer so much because it also has like a shimmer inside of it so whenever i apply it it looks my face already looks like super glowy so when i do apply my makeup which I'm gonna show you right now which foundation I use. When I apply my foundation, it's super lightweight. So when I apply my foundation, my skin looks glowy already. Just with one layer of foundation is so bomb. So so I like it so much. So this right here is is really special to me because try to find to try to find the good foundation. Like you really gotta you gotta do the works. You gotta do you gotta do your research, sis, because it's definitely not easy trying to find a good foundation so me i'm very i like my foundation to be super lightweight like i'm not since i'm so huge on skincare now like i make sure my skin looks good enough so that i don't have to pack on so much foundation and that's the biggest factor when it comes to foundation i don't want it to look cakey at all less is more let's just say that less is more with anything really when it comes to your hair when it comes to your face less is more I use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Yes, it's pricey. I paid like $70 for this bottle. It's a little crusty. I'm not even going to lie. I had it for a while. But I love this. This is like my baby. Like, I will never give this foundation up. Like, And the good thing about this is that you can use it for every single day. Like your everyday makeup. Or you can use it for like a special event now the only thing that you would have to do for a special event is packing on the foundation you got to pack on the foundation and layer it up so that it can look wedding material like or like if you're gonna go out somewhere special you want it to be super super like beat down then you could do like the whole packing you know not full coverage but you can make it full coverage if you literally pack it on your face or you layer it it works either way and 
I'm never gonna get, give this baby up. Like, never. The ones of my favorite will be the Shape Tape Concealer. This right here is my baby. Like, before I discovered this, I was using something else that I will be showing you, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills like palette. It's a contour palette. I was using one of these shades. This shade, to be exact. This shade, to be exact. I was using that as my concealer and to underline my eyebrow but i realized that it was running out really quickly and it wasn't efficient enough for a, for your face to look kind of beat but still like natural at the same time so i had to find something new something that wouldn't waste and i wouldn't have to buy these palettes a hundred times again and again even though you, i know you can refill them but that's a hassle i'm not willing to take to be honest so I discovered the shape tape is it hasn't done me no wrong like no wrong at all like literally you use it one time and it's enough and I like heavy concealer like concealer is one thing that I do like heavy and just applying this one time it's enough so if you like really really heavy concealer you can apply this twice and get exactly what you're looking for so I kind of have a balance like I have really light foundation and then I put a lot of concealer like concealer is my thing like i've always loved concealer so i have to use like a lot say hello to my lime cream it's so cute like i love this fucking palette i use this palette like ooh, like every single day not every single day but every time i wear like a quick like right now i'm using the lime cream palette i'm using this hot pink color right here right here and i just do a quick little smoky eye one two three like if i'm doing a quick eyeshadow this is my go-to palette like my everyday go-to palette i either use this color or i use this color it's a huge thing for me and how like keeping my hair healthy and my curls healthy so one of my fave beauty products will be this leave-in conditioner that i use from ag it's the fast food leave-in conditioner it's a water-based product the brand is vegan um and it hasn't done me no wrong. I've been using it with this for the last two years. I can say about two years, I think. It's like a year and a half, two years. And it hasn't done me any wrong. Like, my hair has been flourishing beautifully. And the one thing that I really do love about it is that it styles and conditions my hair at the same time. And I don't really have to use much when it comes to, like, styling. I'm very basic when it comes to styling. I'm more about the health of my hair than what it necessarily looks like so if that your hair is healthy it looks healthy then it's gonna look beautiful you don't have to add 10 million products for it to look a certain way so that's one of my top favorites this contour palette is essential in my everyday makeup routine why because I do still use this to underline my eyebrow I contour with these colors I also do full freckles if you guys didn't know my makeup I don't have real freckles they're not real they're fake I only do them when I apply makeup on and I use this middle color right here to uh, apply my full freckles and then this is what I contour with and then here this pink tone that's my cream blush that I use I don't really use this middle you know, like banana shade because it's just not necessary for me but every other shade i do use so this is definitely essential in my everyday makeup for my full freckles for my eyebrows and to contour now to set my face like i said my skin is seriously dry like really dry so i need something since i use so many things to moisturize my skin and to kind of replaced with the dryness so i use a very deep hydrating um face cream uh, facial toner uh, primer like i use everything hydrating i like to kind of keep it very a uh, subtle when it comes to my setting spray because ov over time in the day if i use something very hydrating to my face i will look really oily later and my skin i mean my makeup will melt off and listen sis we can't be having melting melting makeup off, off your face so that's a dub so what i do like to use is this mac fix prep and prime um setting spray oh oops I like to use this MAC um, Prep and Prime setting spray. I even sometimes apply this when before I apply my makeup. So like let's say I put my my toner, my moisturizer, my primer, and I applied some of this on. 
bomb my skin doesn't need much after that because it's already hydrating it looks glowy and it does the works okay this right here does the works those were a couple of my favorite beauty products please like and subscribe and thank you for supporting me for watching me love you and stay tuned because i have some really cool videos coming up next okay